only um, is that we're in the job of education here. I do have um, empathy for the preschool businesses in town, but me personally, I would prefer to have an equal opportunity education to everyone in, in Alton. Um, I, I, think, I think that it, it's a mistake to, to have a lottery system or, or to get lucky in order to have a preschool teacher with his or her master's degree and all that knowledge, okay, as to a daycare center. That's not a school, it's a daycare center, which is the default position if you don't get into, if you don't get into the, the program. Because I put myself in a, in a parent's place, and if that's my kid and I couldn't get him in, okay, I'd be running around just like, you know, without a head just like, you know, most of, most of you. So I think it's a, to me personally only, it's a question of um, fairness, and the science exists that if you can get a, a legitimate education in preschool, and I don't know the science in terms of three, three year olds versus four year olds, but I know the kids are better off up to about the fourth grade, and then it levels off, and then you know there is no difference after that. But if that means a kid gets motivated earlier and enjoys going to school earlier and transitions earlier, I think it's positive. And, I, I open it to the rest of the board. I would like to comment. Um, I truly think we all agree, basically, with the thought. I think how we're going to get to that is maybe the difference. I don't want a knee-jerk reaction where, okay, we're gonna take all the kids and then we don't do it very well. Um, I think we need to plan it and I think we need to be transparent to the community, all of the community, not just the parents that come here, but I think the entire community needs to know what we're planning to do. Um, I think a Warren article would be the best way to make it transparent to everybody so that anybody can come and vote yes or they can vote no, and it's a philosophical issue. Um, so that's where I stand. Um, I'm not against preschool per se. I think the program that we have right now is great. I don't know that enlarging it is better or not. I don't know. I, I, there's no, nobody has come forward with, and studied it. So I think it needs to be studied. Um, and I think it needs to be people in the community. It needs to be parents, everybody that should sit down and talk about what's going to happen. And that's my feeling. I'd like to comment as well. Um, I agree, and, and uh, we certainly don't want to rush into anything. And uh, like has been noted, you don't want to do anything poorly because it's just um, you, you get a, a poor outcome. Um, but not lost, I hope, on anybody is not just the benefit of your education, education as the kids go on. And I can tell you this firsthand that the education that my kids got by going to school with kids, being peers, although my son did have a speech issue, but uh, being essentially peers in their classes, what they took away from being um, taught alongside kids with special needs is immeasurable. Um, the tolerance that my kids have, um, the understanding, the friendship that they've made, um, just the, the overall uh, better people that they've become. And I'm very sensitive to that because my father worked for Easter Seals for a number of years, years and years. And so consequently, I worked for Easter Seals for years and years. And I grew up in uh, uh, literally attending camp um, as one peer among dozens and dozens and dozens of special needs kids. Do not lose sight of that fact. The education, it's something you can't replace. Um, and it's something that really, as a society, we really need. So I think we really need to look at it strong and hard um, and open it up um, for, for any number of reasons, but we, we really do need to look at it. 
I, I wanted to say something too. Um, I agree that we need to, I agree with Peter that we need to do this in the right way. We've got a little bit from the um, attorney tonight about doing things in the correct way. I had a grandchild that started at three years old. I couldn't understand the word he said. He's now a junior in high school. Um, and I was actually the camp nurse that used to seal with his father for eight years. I was leech patrol. So, uh, and my son was probably there with him on leech patrol. Um, and I agree with him on that too. And, and I was a school nurse here. I attended school here. And I was just talking to my daughter today about it, that the Alton kids have always been kind to the children that needed friends, needed help. Um, that's the way Alton is, and that's the way it needs to be. And so we want to do this right. But that's all I have to say. Thank you. I guess I'll uh, throw something in there too. Um, most of you know Alyssa, uh, my daughter, has uh, special needs. She's got the crutches and the whole gamut. Um, to what Sandy was saying, um, even though she thinks that she may be bullied, um, she probably has more friends uh, than I've ever thought of. Um, I think the universal uh, program done right uh, for pre-K um, is just going to enhance the um, momentum to become uh, a model school for others. We call it blue ribbon or test scores, whatever you want to get particular with. But I think um, it's a small community, um, and I think with the ideal situation in um, thorough uh, examination, um, I, I think there's uh, endless possibilities. I really do. Okay, Jason. Would anybody else like, like to weigh in? No? no? Okay, um, 